Hello, Internets. Yes, yes, we are here at another episode. Yet another episode. Yet another episode. The Boot Camp Flick Chronicles. Today's episode, featuring a pair of boots I, uh, I just came up on uh, at my local Models. Models Sporting Goods. The longest running sporting goods store in the New York City area. In the tri-state area. In the world. In the universe. Let's show off the uh, 60 bucks on sale. All right. 60 bucks. Internets, you know us from Sneaker Fiends Unite and we love sales. Models had a big sign in their window. 70% off selected styles. I mean, you usually know that when something's 70% off, it's garbage. All right? But uh, my interest was piqued. I was intrigued. Let me see what's 70% off. All right, these aren't 70% off, but they're still on sale. All right, style number 82197. For those of you scoring at home, that's 82197. Ooh, I have to show uh, this this fantastic little chart now that Timberland puts on their boxes. Again, Timberland, always a leader in innovation and, and thinking outside of the box, okay? To show that they're thinking outside of the box, they even put a sticker on the outside of the box, okay? That right there is Timberland's green index, okay? What this describes is that the creation of, of, of the boot and how, um, how green uh, the production of this boot is. And when Timberland uh, talks about a green index, when we hear about green in indexes, green indices, uh, it's, it's, a manufacturing, um, it's a manufacturing statement, really. You know, how, how much does this product deplete from the Earth's resources? Okay, and uh, these boots stand at 5.5, okay? 5.5 out of 10, not bad, not bad. I mean, it's a start, it's a start. But again, Timberland always thinking forward, thinking outside of the box. Very excited to get these shoes too. Okay, look at this shoe, look at this boot. Well, some of you OG Timberland fans might look at this boot and say, wait a minute. That's the beef and broccoli. It it has similar coloring to the beef and broccoli, to the to the field boot uh, that we refer to as the beef and broccoli. I'm just so happy and excited. I mean, I remember the the uh, you know beef and broccoli. I mean, I've run through how many beef and broccoli uh, field boots? Thousands, maybe. Okay, maybe not thousands. You know, I've had a few, but it, it's good to see that that Timberland respects kind of the the heritage. Of their previous styles by by reissuing those colorways again, you know those of us that remember uh, their heritage, you know we see a shoe like this and and we get we get happy because it's like hey, you know I remember that shoe I love that shoe, and you know you you wear those I wore those field boots out, you know I mean I wore them to the ground, and um, so I'm excited to try to wear this shoe to the ground. I remember a few years ago when Timberland created the um, I want to say the BSFP, uh, brake, stop, uh, propel. I, I got to go back and look at the underside of my shoes to, to remind myself of, uh, of, that, of what that treading, they had, they had termed that treading. All right. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the shoe is, is properly aggressive uh, for the environment that I'm going to use it in, which is, you know, the, the urban environment. Um, Really nice material, really nice leathers there, really nice, um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, nice webbing for the tongue, I mean, really nice shoe, really nice, well-made shoe. Uh, what I'm liking about the, the, this shoe right here, too, is they've really, uh, they've given me a nice padded insole inside there, perforation in there for, for the foot to uh, breathe and um, kind of enjoy being inside the boot. You know, uh, you can you can be inside these boots. These boots feel like you can be inside them uh, for a long period of time. You know, 
uh, upwards of 10, 12 hours, which is, I mean, you know, if you're hiking, you know, that's what you need. You need an all day shoe, you know, so this, this is kind of like a day hiker, but I, I'll be honest with you, even, even in the urban environment, you know, you can be in your footwear, you know, 12, 14 hours straight, you know, for the folks that commute, uh, then work in the city and then have to go back home. You know, you're in your shoes for 12 hours. So um, this is the kind of shoe that you can be in for that period of time. Really, uh, really nice, comfortable uh, feeling to my hands, at least. I can't I can't wait to put these on, actually. Um, love the uh, padded ankle collar. Um, nice lacing system, too. Very, uh, very secure, rock solid lacing system. Okay, we're going through eyelets now. We're not even dealing with the D-rings. We're going through eyelets. And then they have the, the uh, secure fast lacing right here up at the ankles. But uh, your lacing is going through these, these serious eyelets. Where that, listen, these laces aren't going anywhere. This thing is staying on your foot. Thank you, Timberland. Thank you, Timberland, for thinking outside of the box, uh, for giving us a green index uh, to, uh, to understand, you know, how... Our shoes, we, we're not just leaving footprints in our shoes, but we're leaving footprints in the planet with the production of shoes. And reducing that footprint is key. You know, I mean, we can, we can walk around and we can recycle and we can do a lot of, we can do a lot of other things, but um, it, we've got to start including that kind of ethos and that kind of ethics into the things that we wear. All right, recycled rubber here, the box that Timberland uh, ships the shoes in. Recycled cardboard. I mean, the Timberland is again a leader in the pack. All right, thinking about more than just selling shoes. All right, thinking about the planet and uh, you know keeping us on it. Timberland, kudos to you. Okay, Models also. Thank you. Great price on these shoes. So I'm excited. I can't. I can't wait to put these on. Woo! Excellent. The new beef and broccoli. Okay, less fat, less MSG, better for you. Internets, DallasPen.com.